All right, 2024, what's in my bag? We're gonna talk about what's in there, why it's in there, and hopefully this will help you guys kind of figure out what makes sense and how to set up your golf bag. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So 2024, the Masters right around the corner. So this is a perfect time to do a little what's in my bag as of right now. We're gonna run through all the clubs I've got in there starting, we'll start with the wedges and work our way up. We're gonna save the putter for last because that one is definitely something a little different, a little unique. So definitely stay tuned to the end so you can see that. All right, first off, let's talk about wedges. and. If you've watched enough of my videos, you're gonna see a lot of the clubs in my bag and recognize them from other videos I've done, other concepts I've talked about and sort of done some demonstrations, some experimenting with. So starting with these wedges, you will maybe recognize some of the things that I've done with these, but I've got Cleveland RTX 6 in the raw finish. Probably know I'm a big fan of a raw finished golf club that has a little rust on it, a little patina. So anytime I can get my hands on a club like that, I'm always gonna gravitate towards those and that's what these Cleveland wedges do. Notice I've got BB and F ferrules on these. These don't necessarily match the rest of the clubs in my bag. I put these ferrules on, I built these clubs up when I was still playing my sub 70 irons, again, in that raw finish and they had a much more unique ferrule on them. So these were sort of picked out to kind of go off of that. I don't have those irons anymore, but I still have the wedges and I still have these ferrules. I still like them. I may change them out at some point to try and match up a little bit better. But for right now, we're still going with this green, brown and tan motif in the ferrule. In the shaft, we've got Dynamic Gold 120 X100 eight iron shafts in both of these, the 54 and the 58 degree wedge. Maybe you saw a couple videos I've done with Mr. Short Game where we talked about and we demonstrated what can happen when you have a stiffer shaft in your wedges, how it can give you a little lower launch and a little bit more spin. So that's kind of what we were doing here. X100 shafts in the eight iron in these wedges gives us something just a little bit stiffer, lower the launch a touch, bump up the spin a little bit. Finally, grips on these, and this is gonna be the same grip that I've got running all the way through the bag with the exception of the putter, and that is the Lampkin ST Hybrid Grip. This is the 360 version, so no matter how you turn them, they look identical, but really like these grips. They've got sort of a cord style upper hand. It's a little rougher, but it is not cord, so it doesn't you know, kind of chew your hands up, but it just feels really good in your hand. Bottom portion, more of a velvet style, more of a cross line style material here. And I really like these grips. My hands sweat and with these, I do not have that issue and I can even hit them without a glove on, which is rare for me. So again, you'll see this grip all the way through the bag. Okay, next up, I've got one more wedge in the bag and you may have seen the video I did on this a while back, but this is my not a chipper, chipper club. So what I've got here is a malt B KE4 pitching wedge head. Loft on this is set at 42 degrees. It has movable or interchangeable weights here that you can put in, and we've put in the heaviest weight that you can get, which is about 14 grams, screwed in here over by the toe. Also have about 10 extra grams of tip weight inside the shaft, inside the hosel right here. Got that paired up with a Project X 6.5, 125 gram shaft, so again, heavy. Everything here is designed to be heavy. Grip on this mid-size, a little bit bigger grip, and again the mid-size grip is going to be a little heavier around 57 grams. So everything in this golf club has some extra weight to it. We've bent it a little bit more upright also. Whole idea of this club is you use it more with a putting style stroke. So if you've always wanted to try out a chipper style club if your chipping isn't where you want it to be but you're always worried about the stigma from having a chipper in your bag well this club just looks like a pitching wedge but basically i designed it to play like a chipper really like this club again much more consistent from a variety of lies around the green when you don't need to necessarily hit the ball way up in the air just a very simple straightforward club and 
That's why I keep it in the bag. All right, next up, the irons. And I've got a split set or a mixed set in my bag right now. In the short irons, we're talking about the gap wedge, pitching wedge, and nine iron. I've got Strixon ZX7 Mark II irons. Really like these irons. Ferrules on these, again, BB and F. Working now with the shorter one inch version of the ferrules as opposed to those wedge ferrules that are a little longer, a little taller. In this case, black, white, silver, and just a simple ring with bronze in it. So if you look at it up close, definitely you can see it's got some interesting things going on, but when you set it behind the ball, still very simple, very clean, not really distracting. So really like that. Shafts I've got running through all the irons is Project X 6.0. These are 120 grams. So again, matching up with the wedge shafts that I have and just a really good all around shaft. When I tested out different shafts in this weight, this was the one that sort of gave me the, the straightest shots overall or the shots with the least amount of curve. So, okay, moving from the nine iron down, we've got in the four through eight iron Strixon ZX5. I really think that the Strixon lineup, all three of their models, the four, the five, and the seven, really work well as a blended or mixed setup because they look so similar. And definitely the ZX5 looks very similar to the seven, but in a little bit more forgiving package, which I'm all in favor of. So from the eight iron all the way to the four iron, I've got that ZX5 give me a little bit more help getting the ball up in the air, make that sweet spot just a little bit bigger, a little easier to hit. Again, exact same ferrule, exact same Project X shaft, and exact same grip. Now the only difference that I have made, the only adjustment I've really made to these clubs, they are all standard, what I consider standard length, so the five iron is 38 inches. But I have weakened all the lofts on the ZX5s one degree. So all eight, seven, six, five, four are all one degree weaker than the standard specs on those clubs. All right, next up, my four hybrid. Yes, I have a four iron, but sometimes I will put this four hybrid in the bag. This is the Mizuno STZ hybrid. Again, four iron equivalent at 22 degrees. Big difference with this club, and you may have seen my video I did on this, but I've got the Fujikura Axiom long iron shaft in here as opposed to a hybrid shaft. So this shaft is a little bit heavier, 105 grams, stiff flex, and I've also cut it a little bit shorter basically trying to make this club a little more iron-like in how I swing it. So everything else, standard. Again, set in the neutral position here on the adjustable hosel, same grip, but depending on my mood, sometimes four iron, sometimes four hybrid with this Axiom iron shaft. All right, next up, fairway wood. I carry one fairway wood, and I've debated and gone back and forth between three wood and five wood, but right now in the bag, I've got a four wood, and this is the Sub 70 949X. Four wood loft, so kind of fits in my bag perfectly because I don't really want to carry a three and a five wood, so this gives me the option of basically a tee off club or a club I can hit from the fairway. I've got it at 42 and a half inches, and I've got Fujikura Ventus TR Blue 7S, so about 77, 78 grams in this club. Really like this club, does a lot of different things well, and kind of takes the place of two separate woods in just one. Again, same grip, Lampkin, it's a good club. All right, second to last club, Driver. If you've been watching some of my other videos, you may recognize this club, but I've got Strixon ZX7 in my Driver. Two big reasons I picked this head. First one, it's got a little bit shallower face. It's not quite as tall a face. And I wanted to be able to tee it down a little bit more with this club. And so I just felt like a slightly lower profile face would make more sense. Other reason, it's got two movable weights here and back. And that's important because I've added a good amount of extra weight to this head. Why? Well, again, if you've seen my other video, because this driver is a lot shorter than standard. Standard driver, 45, 45 and a half inches. This guy, 44 inches. So a much shorter, a much heavier driver, hopefully trying to give me a little more consistency, allow me to hit some more fairways and not really lose much, if any, distance from that setup. Shaft in this club, I've got LA Golf DJ Series 7S. This is, 
Honestly, a very similar profile to the Ventus TR Blue. That blue profile, that sort of slightly softer midsection shaft I always like in woods and fairway woods. So this definitely fits the bill there. 75 grams, again, basically the same weight as what I've got in the forewood. And again, because I'm playing it shorter, makes sense to have it heavier. And I said, well, why not just have it basically be the same weight as the forewood? Grip on this club, again, exact same Lampkin grip. Now I have talked about, and I've done numerous videos about counterbalancing different golf clubs and what can happen and how that works. This is, at this point, the only golf club in my bag that actually has a counterbalance in it. I've got 16 extra grams in the butt end of the shaft here under the grip. Again, this is the only club in the bag where I have any counterbalancing going right now, but that allows me to add some more weight to the head and really make this club heavy and hopefully as stable as possible for my golf swing. Okay, last up, and this is probably the club that gets the most looks, gets the most uh, notice in my golf bag right now, and that is this putter. This is my new Astral putter. Found this putter at the PGA show. Probably like a lot of people initially, I noticed this, which is the head cover for this putter, which was very unique, but Beyond that, as soon as I took the putter, set it down, hit some putts with it, I pretty much instantly fell in love with the look, the feel, the way it sets up behind the ball, just really loved everything about it. Now, there's a lot going on in this putter, and honestly, there's too much to get into in this video, in this what's in the bag video, but this putter has a lot of adjustability. It has a lot of different options, a lot of ways to configure it. I'm gonna do a separate video specifically about this putter, just talking about some of the different ways it can be adjusted. But for right now, I'm just gonna tell you that, again, I love the way it looks, I love the way it feels, I love the way it just sits on the ground behind the ball and just allows me to make a really nice, pure stroke with it. All right, there's my what's in the bag. I would say most of it pretty traditional. Definitely take note of the fact that all the shafts, the weights get progressively lighter as we move from the shortest clubs into the longest clubs, and that we don't have big discrepancies in weight from the wedges to the irons, the irons to the hybrid, the hybrid to the fairway woods and driver. Everything kind of flows evenly and smoothly. Other than that, pretty traditional setup, but there are a couple of unique things, either the X108 iron shafts in the wedges or the uh, Axiom iron shaft in my hybrid or the much shorter, heavier, slightly counterbalanced driver, all of those. Definitely something a little bit unique. You can find videos specifically about all of those topics. I will leave links to those videos down in the description below. And also, of course, my new putter. Again, video will be upcoming where I dive into this new Astral putter a little bit more in depth. But that's it for this video. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. If you're interested in a fitting at Elite Fit Golf or you have a custom build or a repair that you're looking to get done, all my contact information down in the description below, and I will see you next time. Bye. Broke a golf ball.